Okay, so today we're going to look at the Gigabyte Aero 15, which is a laptop I purchased recently. It comes with uh, two M.2 slots, which uh, is pretty cool. Um, and we've got an NVIDIA GTX, uh, GTX 1060 in there as well. So I'm, let's get this open here. Okay, cool. Let's have a look here. Right. Cool. Uh, yeah, I wanted a port. I wanted a laptop which was like portable and uh, could I could play games on it uh, because I am often not at home these days. So oh, let's just put that to one side. That is the laptop. Uh, it weighs 2.1 kilos, or like just over four pounds. Um, Got some instruction manuals here. I can't remember the last time I actually used one of those. <coughs> okay. I have heard that there's a USB port on here. There is. Cool. So you don't have to take up, if you want to charge your phone as well, it's not a problem. <coughs> okay. I think that's everything from the box, except maybe a plug socket. Have a look. Cool. I am from the UK, so that is the right socket. It's always a good start. Pretty sure that will plug in somewhere. It's good. All right, that's everything out of the box. I don't think we care about this anymore. Assuming the laptop works. Uh, so I know this is supporting a. I think it's a seventh gen. Uh, Intel i7 uh, 7700 and uh, immediate reaction is it is heavy I'm not gonna lie yeah so we got a Thunderbolt 3 port here and two USB 3 ports uh, we've got Kensington lock and uh, that's useless by the way and we have DC in we've got an SD card reader here and then on the other side I believe we've got another USB port yeah, so we have a USB 3 here as well, a gigabit Ethernet LAN port. Yeah, this is a HDMI 4 port and a mini display port. And then we've got uh, audio 3.5mm uh, jack here for microphone and speaker. Okay, I know one of the things, so this is one of these bezel-less designs where the bezel is like I think it's five millimeters and wow yeah that's pretty cool so there's very little space between the edge of the screen and the end of the display essentially but it does mean they've had to put the, the webcam down here which is a HD cam yeah so we've got Windows 10 on uh, Windows 10 Pro and I believe uh, we have a, a two-year warranty uh, I think that's standard. Um, what does the keyboard feel like? Uh, feels alright to me. People were saying it's a bit stiff, like reactive, like the uh, the push is a bit stiff, but I, I don't know. I think it's okay. Uh, that feels fine to me. No complete so it feels it does feel tactile, it's nice. Um got a little bit of bend here, that's okay. So it's an RGB backlit keyboard. Um the individual keys can be different colours, which you know, that's a nice little touch. First impressions are pretty good. I mean it is it's not light, um you know. I mean I had the XPS thirteen and that was that was a lot lighter than this. Um but if they're saying it's got a 1060 in it, then uh, I should be happy when it, as far as gaming is concerned. Um, I do like the fact that you've got the gigabit LAN port here. That's very useful. Uh, it's got 16 gigs of uh, DDR4 RAM uh, running at 2400 megahertz, which is the top speed supported on this device. Uh, the next thing for me to do is to remove the uh, remove the cover underneath the laptop because I want to access the M.2 slot so I can insert the new uh, the new SSD so that's the next thing I'll be doing okay so 
I've got the undercover off and we can see here a battery and we can see here the M.2 slot which is going to be occupied by the crucial terabyte uh, SSD um, one thing I'm wary of is uh, I'm doing the review outside so I'm kind of hoping there's no birds around anyway first step is maybe not to tug that maybe that needs to come off oh well never mind it's off now Okay, now for the, oh, lovely. Hazel, can you not do that here? Oh my god. Now that's installed. Let's uh, boot her up and see what happens. One thing I have noticed is that the, um, the keyboard is off center. So when I'm typing, I'm over here. Whereas normally you'd be sort of here, right? So that's interesting. What I'd like to know is if the, um, it boots to begin with. That would be fantastic. So pressing the power button did nothing. It's a good start. All right, so we're back, back on track. Whoa! Wow, check it out. X right Pantone display color calibration done by X right. Okay. Lots of shitty drivers are going to be on here. I mean, look at all this. Look at this. There's loads of crap running. Wow. Okay. So, I mean, it's the usual bloat where you get with um, with a new box. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Right. Let's see if my uh, SSD worked. Let's have a look. Oh shit. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, so I need to find out what's going on there, and then I will post back with an update. So the good news is uh, the disk actually could... It was being detected, I was just being silly. Um, because it's unallocated space, um, it wasn't showing up. It wasn't showing up in devices and drives, so it's not a problem. We can just uh, create this now. Uh, what I want to do... <coughs> What I want to do is assign probably half a terabyte for uh, a Linux box and then half a terabyte for uh, just as an extra Windows drive. So I'm going to do that. Cool. So that's now done, which means we've got nearly 500 gig of unallocated space, which I'm going to use for the, uh, for the Linux partition, I think. And now it also shows up here, which is useful. So that's good. The next step for me is to install Linux, and then uh, we're in a pretty good place with this uh, with this laptop. Right. So after some uh, painstaking work, we've managed to get Linux and Windows on this laptop. Um, I had some issues with the Novu uh, drivers under Linux, so it was necessary to blacklist uh, Novu and just run with the Intel video drivers. Uh, I've not actually tried to get the NVIDIA card working with uh, Linux yet, but I, I don't think I'm going to need this personally, so I'm not too upset if I can't get this done. So as we can see here, we've got the option to boot from Arch or Windows, um, which is great. One of the issues that I did notice whilst I was using the device uh, last night, aside from the fact that the my hand position is slightly off center uh, because of the numpad keys, um, was uh, I had some discomfort uh, and some marks on my uh, on on my on my arm. Um, this is due to the relatively sharp um, case. Um, but you know, I mean, if you, I've not actually tried, but I'm sure if you've got one of these keypad, uh, keyboard, um, uh, wrist rests, that would probably, uh, solve the problem. Uh, the other thing I noticed was, um, if you have the screen slightly closed, uh, it doesn't actually stay. It does close, which is, I don't know if this is an issue with all, um, Aero 15 laptops, but it's certainly an issue with mine. Uh, it's when you close it, sort of, there's a point of no return, essentially. 
So it is actually falling down now very slowly um, and eventually it gets to the point of no return. Essentially, you can't hold, the screen won't stay open here. It will just shut, which is, uh, for the price of the laptop is slightly annoying. Um, but hey ho, you can't win them all. Um, I, I mean, personally, I, I'm not, I, I don't need to have the screen in this position all the time. Um, but for those who, who do use, who do have the, the screen down, it is, it's certainly an, an interesting issue. Um, is it weak hinges? Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm, I've not, I, I don't know how the mechanism works in this laptop, um, but maybe it's something that they'll be made aware of uh, and fix in a future revision, who knows. Um, other than that, the laptop's been pretty good. I mean, I've been I've been playing. I've had a quick game of uh, Overwatch on on this laptop with uh, high settings at 1080, and it's 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 not been a problem. We've got a solid 60 FPS. Uh, I imagine um, other games to be sort of a similar standard, uh, but I've not I've not done any benchmarks. I'm not going to. Um, Overwatch is my benchmark because it's the game I play the most. So that's that, that's the review of the laptop. Um, in case I didn't mention it, it does actually have Bluetooth connectivity. Um, and first impressions for me are overall good, um, aside, from, aside from the hinge issue and the, the fact that, that the, uh, the casing's a little bit sharp for when you're typing for extended periods. Um, it's, it's, an all, it's a pretty solid laptop. Um, the next thing for me to do is start messing around with these RGB keys. Uh, if you like, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll catch you in the next review.